Hello everyone and welcome back to AstroArt. My name is Alexi and I am glad that you found our channel. Today's mission is to capture an image of the moon. Last time I tried to capture the moon's surface and I'm not gonna lie, that went pretty good and I managed to get some awesome detail. If you haven't seen it, I will leave a link to that video. All right, back to the present moment. So rather than taking just normal photo of the moon's surface, I'm going to capture and combine all of the different parts of the moon to create a huge final image. And that is called mosaic. Mosaic image is built by multiple panels of the subject and putting those panels together in post-processing. To make it simple, since the entire moon can fit into my frame, I need to capture all of the different parts of the moon separately and putting those together to create a final image. That is the only way I can fit the entire moon into my frame. And since I am in Finland and we do not get dark skies in the summertime, I need to capture the moon in daylight. This will be interesting. Today, the moon is approximately 400,000 kilometers away from us and it's about 40% illuminated. So it's in the waxing crescent phase, which is one of my favorite phases. The good news is that the sky should be clear at the time when the moon is nice and high. When the moon is at its highest point, it's also the best time to photograph it, since the seeing is better when objects are higher in the sky. For me, the summer is just relaxing and getting ready for the next season, but it's good to practice when you have the chance. Talking about the upcoming seasons, planets are soon starting to rise in the sky. Some people are already spotted Saturn, so this is a great time to prepare your gear for planets and deep sky, so when the time comes, you and your gear are ready. I'll be using a schmidt cassegrain telescope, the 8-inch Schmidt LX90. This scope, or pretty much any schmidt cassegrain telescope, will provide a lot of focal length, which is ideal for solar system imaging. The scope is riding on top of the iOptron Gem 45, which is an excellent mount that can handle heavy scopes. In the back of the telescope is my ASI 174mm, which can capture high frame rate footage, which is awesome. I might even use my ASI 2600MC Pro. And I will control everything I have here with the ASI Air Plus. I don't expect to get the best quality image because I am not under dark skies, but when you are obsessed with astrophotography, it's hard to not do it. I'm also patiently waiting for the next deep sky season. One thing about lunar photography compared to deep sky is that I don't need multiple hours of exposure time to get a clean image. It's nice to not need to stand here for multiple hours for a change. Right now everything is set and I can start my imaging session. I'll capture my frames and I will show you the final result. I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, clear skies. <laughs> 